Warren, Jessica, typically over the last two years when we've been talking about safety precautions on school campuses and throughout the districts, we've been talking about pandemic related safety precautions. Well, this time we are talking about COVID relief dollars that are funding enhanced safety measures, improving the efficiency of the school bus system. of the new school year comes with new technology for Clovis Unified. We can uh, load the students up and unload them, know who they are, where they're at at all times. In addition to the new bell schedules, back to school includes an enhanced safety plan, increasing the speed and efficiency if ever in a lockdown situation. But the safety enhancements go well beyond the campus. Knowing where your student is is now as simple as the skin of a bus pass. It'll tell them, yes, your student is there or my child is there, and yes, they just got off at Clovis East or at Clovis West, wherever. Already using the program for bus mapping, the Tyler Drive system will track which students are on which bus and where they're going. Assistant Superintendent of Business Services Susan Rutledge says the initial $250,000 to implement the program was funded through the district's COVID relief dollars as it helps with contact tracing. It'll cost an additional $40,000 per year to maintain. The onset of the pandemic meant each bus's capacity dropped from 68 to 40 students. When we asked for the counts for how many kids rode each bus, it's going to be a lot easier for us to be more efficient, know if we need to get another bus out to a certain stop. Of the more than 43,000 students headed back to the classroom, close to 6,000 will use the school's transportation system. You know, the minute our bus drivers see a student, we're responsible for those students. And so this is a way for our dispatch team to see all of our buses on the road. They have a big screen where they can see where all the buses are at all times. Now, when it comes to this system, the plan is to implement a component so that parents can actually log in and track where their students bus route is and where it stopped. Now, I also want to just let you know here at the transportation yard, we've seen buses coming in and out over the last 20 minutes, and I can tell you major first day of school vibes. A lot of the bus drivers here, especially one that I was just talking to Miss Mo, a bus driver of two decades. She said, you know, they treat these kids as if they are their own. So that safety of course is top priority for the district reporting live in Clovis Vanessa Vasconcelos ABC 30 action news.